The following segment on KROC AM is sponsored and paid for by Mesh Besher and Spence. And guess who's here? Good guess. Andrew Davick joins us this morning from Mesh Besher and Spence. Andrew. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. I was going to guess Elvis, but no. <laughs> I don't he quite have the, the there. <laughs> Elvis left the building. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, well, now that we're into the summer season here, yeah. officially after Memorial Weekend, the uh, injuries tend to occur a little bit more often in the summertime. Yeah, you know, it's it's a little bit different. We see uh, more severe accidents in the summertime, whether it's a product of alcohol use. And, you know, we have some holidays through the summer months, Memorial Day, People Fourth People combine everything with some alcohol. Some people do. I've actually heard, too, they that do. weddings have an impact on it because yeah. everybody gets together and, oh, this is an unusual occurrence or reunions, yeah. that kind of stuff. I, I remember a few of those occasions in my life. <laughs> well, the fact that you remember them is good. <laughs> but is it true. does <laughs> it does tend to uh, bring more injuries and accidents into the picture. It does, and, and uh, unfortunately it seems that the injuries that people sustain in summer accidents are often more severe. The speeds of the vehicles, uh, we as Minnesotans tend to drive a little bit slower in the winter. Well, some of us <laughs> tend to drive a little bit slower in the winter time. So the Especially accident. that first snowstorm. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we don't see as many severe accidents in the winter wintertime. Uh, it's much worse in the summer. And, and unfortunately, one of the issues that we're running into more and more are uninsured drivers and uh, making sure that people have adequately protected themselves you know, should something tragic occur to them or their family. You can buy insurance on the 800 number, and, you know, there's so many advertisements of a 15-minute insurance check, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I would, I don't know this for a fact, but I would think that that affects your coverage when you kind of skimp on your insurance just to have the legal, quote-unquote, coverage. It it does, absolutely. <laughs> I think part, part of the problem is there's no personal connection to the agent that's selling you the coverage. And you want to make sure that you have an agent who's selling you the coverage, who who knows who you are, knows what you need, mm -hmm. understands how you're going to adequately protect yourself. Generally speaking, I always tell people you should have at least $250,000 in underlying liability coverage. And you are also going to want to make sure you have an umbrella policy for those truly uh, tragic situations, whether you're protecting yourself because you've injured someone else. Explain what an umbrella policy is. Yeah, an, um, an umbrella policy is essentially an excess policy. So if, if you are at fault in a motor vehicle accident and you have 250000 in coverage, uh, or what we typically call a 250 500 policy, the umbrella policy is excess, so it protects you for any damages that exceed 500000 and that's quite important if you have a severe accident. You know, oftentimes, unfortunately, medical bills tend to are, are high, mm -hmm. and, and those costs continue to rise for those individuals that are injured. The other important part of umbrella policies is with a lot of uninsured drivers on the road, mm -hmm. you can carry a rider on your umbrella policy, which converts that to uninsured motorist coverage. Many companies offer that. And you were talking about the 1-800 numbers. You're never going to be offered that by the, what is it, the general you mm -hmm. see on TV offering insurance right. coverage. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a really important thing for people to have. Make sure you have that rider. Because if you're injured by someone else who doesn't have insurance, at least you know you have that protection, you know, should you have some sort of catastrophic loss to you or someone in your family. Hmm. Yeah, it's always good if uh, you don't use it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly you know, right. You can get that great uh, cheap policy, but if you have to use it, then uh, you know, as, uh, then issues come up. Exactly. And, and as we talk with our clients, I mean, uh, nearly all of our clients would take their health over an accident claim. What about the the hindsight? Nearly all of your clients that you work with, what would have been better for them to have done if they could go back in time? What would they have done? Would they have added the uninsured? motorists or what what is the key thing that people should maybe learn from others lessons i think that is absolutely critical making sure that you have sufficient underinsured motorist coverage at least the 250 500 policy and for folks that have an umbrella policy if you don't have one go get one if you do have one make sure you have that rider to make sure that it converts to uim and coverage unfortunately we've had people who have been paralyzed in accidents where there's very limited insurance coverage available. And if we had had that, we could have done a whole lot more for them mm -hmm. to better their circumstance. Absolutely. And it's if it creates a loophole that, oh, you didn't have the uninsured motorist coverage. That's all that it takes. It does. And if you've got an un uninsured motorist, typically you're not going to collect from them. Sure. There's a reason they don't have coverage. 
That's right. Well, we didn't even get into homeowners, so we can do that maybe next week. That sounds great. But, somebody uh, remember that. That's right. Andrew, <laughs> somebody needs to get a hold of you at Mesh Besher and Spence. What's the best way to do that? Either 1-800-845-1021 or local 280-8090. All right, Andrew Davick from Mesh Besher and Spence, because the lawyer you choose makes a difference. Absolutely. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you.